Welcome to the sixth instructional video of VPOP Pro. In this video we're going to be learning about the wedge tool and the wedge tool is found in the tools section of your menu. So there are three parts to the wedge tool and we'll take you through them one step at a time. Very easy. This is not a video for a full plan of a cranial closing wedge or angular limb deformity correction. It is simply your introduction to the wedge tool. So without calculations at this point, on this calibrated radiograph, we're going to go into the tool section, clicking on the menu. Second column here will have our tools. Down at the bottom, you've got wedge tool. So we're going to click on that and it brings up your wedge straight away so the first of the three steps is to simply position your wedge you've got your apex here and you've got the two sides that you'll be cutting in theatre and then you have your base section here as well they're all displayed in your smart palette here the base section here and the angle of the wedge is displayed here so to position, first of all, we've got our three points. We can click on any of those in any order and drag them to where we need them to be. If you want to go into precision mode, just click on them once and they'll bring up the large circle. And that allows you to move your cursor anywhere in that circle and control the circle to move it without superimposing your cursor or if you're on an iPad or iPhone, your finger, none of these will be obscuring the endpoint. So we're in position mode here and we'll move that apex to where we want it to be. And then you have a green line and a long dotted red line side. And we're going to move those to where we need to be here and here. The second step is simply to remove the wedge. In one click, quick click we can remove that as step two and then step three to reduce this ostectomy VPOP is asking you to draw your point around the fragment that you want to move and reduce. So we can start that now and VPOP will join the start and the finish point together by the most short point, the shortest point distance there between the two. So we can leave that and just click done and it will automatically reduce our fracture. Now if we go back again, I'll explain the significance of the green and the red line. So we'll go back again, wedge tool, green line and red line. The green line is where you draw from, where you delineate the fragment that you want to move. So just to reiterate, we're positioning our apex, we're positioning our green line, and then the second side of our ostectomy there. Our base is displayed here, and our angle is displayed here. And on our smart palette, that's your point of reference. And if it's in the way, you can move it around wherever you need it to be on the screen. So the significance of the green line, that is where you delineate your fragment from. So we're going to start cutting to remove the ostectomy. And then we're going to, for the final step, delineate from our green line. Back to there we go to the bait to the origin and click done. Your ostectomy is now reduced, and you can move using the blue circle here, the large blue circle, wherever you want your fragment to be. And if you did need to rotate it, use your rotation arm here, and for a greater degree of control, bring it out to the side, and you have a greater distance to move on the circumference to control your rotation. So there you have it, that's the wedge tool. 
in VPOP Pro, your veterinary pre-operative orthopedic planner. Download your copy now from vpoppro.com. Thank you.